For those of you trying to figure out how to turn your JCB 3TS 8W or 8T, the track version, into high flow, um, to turn on your high flow, I made this video because it actually took me a little while to figure out. It's springtime here in Idaho, as you can see, middle of March, <laughs> good snow year. Um, I've got this Erskine snowblower, been running it for the season, it's been working well. Jump up in the cab here. For some of you this might seem straightforward, but it actually took me a while to figure out. There wasn't a lot of help in the owner's manual. Um, first thing you want to do is just get inside, put your lap bar down, your control arm down, and sitting here idling. Your controls are locked like normal when you lift up your lap bar. And the first thing you need to do is turn on your high flow, which is this button right here. I just unlocked controls, parking brake. Um, leave that on actually to turn on your high flow but the next thing you need to do is turn this off you can't turn that off that's your auxiliary hydraulics um, unless your controls are unlocked you can leave your park brake on but um, usually I just turn them both off high flows on auxiliaries off and you come down here to your right stick and this right here turns on your auxiliary flow press that in and you hear it kick on you can see the snow blower is working high flows on this will start flashing you can't turn that back to lock or it turns everything off so you have to have that unlocked and press this button now if you get in trouble, let's say you start to eat something with your snowblower, this is also applied to like a mower in high flow. Um, this is the button you want to remember where it's at so you can hurry and turn it off to disengage your machine. So with that on, I kick up the speed. Always run your machine in full speed how it's designed don't don't drive around with it on halfway you'll start having problems with overheating and the only time I turn my throttle down is if I'm trying to back into something tight maneuver in a really tight spot and on this machine it was already pre-wired the Erskine the disc back here on the back is your chute here with your thumb is the angle on your chute. You can't run any of those without having this flow turned on. The next thing that you might want to know to do, you want to make sure you lift your bucket up. Make sure that your boom is all the way down. Once that's accomplished, Turn on your float. And if your bucket or if your boom is not all the way down, it won't turn on. You'll hear that thump. And you can see right here that your bucket float is on. That button right there. And you can uh, put this back down onto the skids. And then release spark brake. And we're in business. Thinking about rigging up some sort of foot switch for my windshield wipers because you find 
you don't need them running all the time, but when you need them, you just need them for a few seconds sometimes. You can see this machine's a little bit under horsepower for this blower. The trade-off for not having all the emissions. Def fluid. But it will work through quite a bit of snow as you can see. Just have to be a little bit patient. This is very, very dense, heavy snow. So it is falling off a little, but it's getting through it. I might make a video later about which connection is which. Um, if you're hooking up a new machine, figure out your rotation. It's kind of hard to turn it on safely and go look at your rotation. You might just want somebody to help you. But the first time you hook it up, I hooked this one up backwards because there really wasn't any um, thing in the manual to discuss which one is hot, the output and the input. Um, a lot of stuff you find online, they're like, well, there isn't an out and an in. But on the continuous flow, there is. So you want to make sure your blower is running in the right direction or your mower. This blower seemed to work fine in reverse when you turn it on, but um, obviously it won't push any snow through the chute. So um, just check that. Then if you have to, just reverse your connections. I'm going to label these. And that's it. Greetings from Teton Valley, Idaho.